I mean, you, you pull on the chain when you go to the toilet, but here you're pulling on the chain or the rope or whatever you're using. If you have a swing which has not got a chain like this, you can't do it because it won't bend if it's made of steel or iron. So then you need a different technique. I can't do this, Brady, but I will talk you through it so you can see if I were an athlete, this is what I would have to do. I would have to stand on the swing and then it would go, dear Lord, this is difficult. I would drop my legs, drop my weight, drop my weight, drop my weight twice every cycle and hope that that would amplify it. My belly button would be going up and down, up and down, up and down. And if you do this at the right point in the cycle, you can get the thing to really get huge amplitudes. So this is not exactly the experiment done with a bit of string, because you have to have this made of solid iron or steel, something really robust. And if you have that, something solid, you can get this really to go forwards and backwards. Right, that's what you do. You work, do work pulling on the chains, trying to stop yourself falling off, and then doing that work somehow feeds energy into the system. And it's that energy being fed into the system that makes it swing higher and higher and higher. Whereas if you're going up and down by just bending your knees on a rigid pendulum, that's more like the length of the pendulum changing because you're raising your centre of mass which is equivalent, in some sense, to pulling on the string. That's the string at the top, but instead of the string pulling, you're just raising yourself up at the other end. 